In 2017, our house salesman was calling on the town of Arvada, Colorado when he learned about a project that they were trying to find a solution for. In the heart of downtown, there's a historic water tower that can be seen throughout the whole metro area. In uh, 2015, the city had made a substantial investment to restore the tower and make it a centerpiece. Part of that effort included the lighting system, which turned out to be six 1500 watt quartz burner floods. And from day one, this system was doomed. Uh, it was extraordinarily expensive to operate being 1500 watt quartz. Uh, very difficult to maintain because it was 150 plus feet in the air. That meant the rental of a thousand dollar a day lift. And uh, even when all parts were working, uh, it just did a poor job of delivering the desired uh, light onto the tank. So they invited us to design and propose a long life and high performance solution. And at the time, Keller Kinetics had just launched their Gen 4 EW Blast with what were called forward throw optics. And we knew that this fixture would allow us to cover uh, the entire height of the 42 foot water tank and provide a uniform spread all the way around uh, without light and dark spots. Initially, they asked for a white light only. Our sales rep suggested, well, if you're, if you're gonna make this investment, would you consider looking at color changing as well? Their response was, why don't you show us both? So with the help of Color Kinetics, we prepared a design layout with renderings and some post-insulation photos from projects that both Voss Lighting and Color Kinetics had completed. Immediately, the board approved the color changing option uh, pending a successful field demonstration. So we brought in uh, sample color changing units uh, with that forward throw optic, installed them, and uh, performed a mock-up test. And that pretty well sealed the deal from there. So some of the challenges we faced, in order to get the optimum coverage on the face of the tank, we needed to put the fixtures at least six feet off the face of the tank, and our railing was only about three feet. Once again, working with the city uh, personnel and Color Kinetics, uh, we brought in extendable arms, um, and they were able to weld a bracket. We mocked that up, and uh, in the end, uh, worked out very well. We ended up with about six foot spacing, and in the end, we were able to provide a high performance color changing system and it allowed them to modify from a ground level. Didn't mean they would uh, have to bring a lift in anymore. Uh, we converted down to just under a thousand watts for the entire system. And then of course now they have a historic landmark that is a prominent feature of the Denver nighttime skyline. Mm -hmm.